We have now arrived at what is arguably the most significant point in the church calendar. This Holy Week, we take a deep dive into Christ's passion and ultimate death. And immediately following it, we spend 50 days observing and celebrating his resurrection. Now, the question that this Holy Week raises is why? Why do we go so deep into such a dark story? It can make the church seem downright morbid. But I promise you, this is hardly the point. The point, in fact, is quite the, op quite the opposite. In looking at the narrative of Christ's passion and death, we see two things, and it comes from our understanding of Jesus Christ as being someone of two natures, both fully God and fully human. As fully God, he is coming down into the human sphere and experiencing the absolute worst that human life and human community has to offer. There's really nothing of the worst of who we are that we can't find in this passion story. There's betrayal, there's backstabbing, there's dishonesty, there's cowardice, and just downright physical and mental anguish. All of it is there. And in Jesus, God experiences all of this as a human being. Now, in Jesus' humanity, he is taking upon himself the worst of who we are and what we can do and elevating them up to God and God's grace. He's taking things that we might otherwise label pointless evil and turning it into things that are transformed and transformable into an endless source of power and resilience. So far from being a morbid story, this is a story of transformation and a transformation that can be accomplished only by the one who is both fully God and fully human. Thanks to the fact that the one who is indeed fully God and fully human, having gone through this passion and death, even the absolute worst things that can happen to humans and by humans have become transformable and even transformed into a thing of power, I dare say perhaps even beauty, by the God-man, Jesus Christ himself. And so, in that light, I wish you a happy Holy Week.